Well, it seems that all is as the augurs foretold. You have even more ridiculous clothes than the other bishops. You bested my suffragan, the Bishop of Earth, just as was ordered. You defeated my prelate, the Bishop of Sea, precisely as had been prophesied. But I am Hierarch of the Imperium Romanon, and the augurs foretell that you cannot defeat me. Now die, servant of false gods! Much as I would like to kill you, perhaps you should see to your fleet first. the shores of Castle. They call me Bellatrix. <laughs> and it's my wish to see if you truly are a giant slayer.
the dockyards. And the wounds. Ah, those are what's going on here, but I've got the fleet of mine. We shall meet again, barbarian. Quickly. Thou must leave before he can make good upon his threat. How's Bellatrix? She says thou art the giant slayer. Well, I don't like to brag. I entreat thee to aid my master, the King of Albion, in his hour of need. Please take this map. It will help you find my king. And I pray to the veneer that thou art the one we seek. The war wolf had won a great victory, angered a mighty enemy, and encountered an unlikely ally. The Black Knight had sought to bring back his queen, but she had renounced her crown and sworn to serve the Imperium. Now the fate of Midgard itself would be determined upon this distant archipelago, as all the Ulfong's enemies turned their attention towards Albion. Seeking the power to bring about Ragnarok, Grimnir and his new allies, the Frost Giants, cross the water to Albion in search of the secret of the Eternal Well. The islands of this archipelago were under the protection of he who had trained me in the ways of the seer, Merthin the Arch Druid. Although a servant of the Aesir, he had sworn his service to the Knights of the Vanir, led by the King of Albion. But his true loyalty was to the land itself, and his ancient rights had protected Albion from the growing threat of endless winter. Until the Frost Giants arrived. But it was not just Grimnir who threatened these distant shores, for Simul and her new allies, the Blood Drinkers, also sought the path to the Eternal Well. And with it, the power to bring about the end of us all. Great victory, my chieftain. Every clan sings of your courage. Aye, that's great. But look at this map Palomides gave me. Can our ships travel to these islands? Mm, not without some modifications, but I've learned a lot from studying our enemy's ships. If you can supply me with what I need, I'll be glad to improve your longship so it can survive the voyage. But 
help but worry about your gorgeous to Albion. But I've done all I can to make your See, my chieftain? Look at a strong hull. Full sails and curved bulwarks. <laughs> I won't marry you already. Sailor to Albion, take the glory of the Alfung to those distant shores, and please try not to wreck her. It said that Vala learned the ways of the seal. Chimes from distant shores. The wounds. The wounds are afraid. Do you have wounds you wish to grow? I hear the wounds sing when you are. Even with my visions, I had not known that the Hrafnung survived. The lost clan painted their skin blue with woad, took the raven as their sign, and thrived in battle. 
perhaps more than any other Viking. The people of the South spoke of them in hushed voices, and whispered another name for these legendary warriors. Barbarians. Oh, my God. 